Hi, I'm Melissa Muir. Welcome back for another Tool Time Tuesday. Recently, I had somebody reach out to me and ask a question about rolling down their wire using a combination mill, and they were trying to make a square profile wire, but what was happening is they were getting these little flanges. So they asked if there was a trick to that, and I figured I would show you guys, because sometimes it's a little easier to show you than it is to actually write it all down. So not everybody is going to have this mill. This one happens to be kind of the big boy of a rolling mill. So I have a 160 millimeter double electric mill from Pepe Tools. But today we're going to be concentrating just here on this wire section. Now this also stands to, uh, to go for those mills that are manual, not just electric. And this would also be for any mills that have kind of those wire or round wire grooves uh, within the mill. And so what I'm going to be dealing with here is we're going to deal with the square rollers right here, the square grooves, and I'm going to show you how to reduce your wire. And in this case, I went super big. I think that this is probably like six or eight gauge wire, and I'm going to show you how to roll that down so that you don't get those flanges. On my mill, I've got multiple square wire grooves, and those are these that are here at the end of this. Now, in addition, I also have round and half round and comfort fit, and also uh, a bezel wire. So there's quite a few options that come here on the 160. The first thing that I want to do is I want to adjust my rollers so that they are closed to the point where it closes down on my wire. But if it goes right through and there is no uh, gap for that or no tension on that, then I need to go down to the next size smaller until I can no longer fit that through easily with no pushing. Okay, so here I have some resistance and that tells me that that's going to be my first spot. So what I'm going to do is just open up this and I want to put my wire in a little bit and close it down. So at this point, I can't pull it out, I can't push that in, and then I'm going to back this out. So in my case, I'm going to do this with my, my mill, so you'll hear me kick it on. And I'm gonna pull that out. And at this point, I can see on my wire that I have a little spot where I can tell that something is touching it. So I'm going to tighten this up just a little bit, and I'm going to place it back into my groove, and I'm going to put it through. Now, the trick to this is that you're going to rotate this 90 degrees and put it through again. Okay, so that way I keep my square profile. I'm going to close my mill down, and at this point I'm as tight as I can go on this particular wire. And again, I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees and put that through one more time. So now that I've reduced as much as I can with that particular roll, I'm going to again stop this. I'm going to open up my mill just a bit so that I can take it into the next size down. So this is the one we were just in. So I'm going to open this back up just a little bit. I'm gonna do the next size down, and again, I'm going to roll this through the next size down. At this point, I've now really have a very nice square profile on my wire. So again, I'm gonna rotate that 90 degrees roll it through again, and then I'm going to tighten up my mill, and one more time. And I would do this again and again until I have the size of wire that I'm after, and I put that one in the wrong one. That's a little better. So, let me show you what happens if you put it into a groove without reducing this enough. And I did not get it with that one. Let's see here. Okay. So if I happen to put this into a groove without reducing my my mill and taking it down little by little, you can see this flange that happens. And that is extremely undesirable, especially if you are after a square wire. Here you can see that flange easily 
Okay, and this, at this point, you would have to take and cut that away, and then you'd have to file everything smooth, and then go back to your mill to help create that square profile again. Whereas, if you just take this down in gradual steps, you can see that I have a nice square wire here. Now, I'm not going to have super crisp corners when you do this with a rolling mill. If you want those super, super crisp corners, you are going to need to reduce this, and then pull it through a draw plate to get that. And the reason for that is because when you have a rolling mill that has a groove into it, it cannot come to a sharp point or it creates a weak spot right here at that point where if you apply too much pressure on that, it will end up cracking your roller. So they have to have just a little bit of a flat spot in there. However, you can see here, you still get a very nice square profile on that wire. So hopefully that helps answer that question. Again, just like anytime you're rolling down your sheet, you also want to take your wire down in stages as well. And also, if you're doing quite a bit of this, I highly suggest you anneal every four to five passes, maybe even more if you're finding that you end up with some cracking or porosity. I hope you like this video, I hope it helps, and I hope that helps answer that question that we had. And if you like my video, be sure to give a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. And also, mark that notifications if you would like to know whenever I post new videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.